my name is Tanaya and current I'm a mechanical engineer graduate in the year 2021. Right now I am working with Scient as design engineer. During the pandemic, after my completion of final year, I was looking into courses online since I didn't want to go offline anywhere. And I found Skilling on Google. And uh, then I looked into all the various courses that Skilling was offering, which was CFD in design, manufacturing, and all of those stuff. And I was more interested on the designing part. So I looked into the Masters in Design course and it got me interested. So I decided I should enroll for it so that I learn something new. During the course, I learned a lot of new softwares, um, one of which was NX. And NX was something which is widely used in industries, which I came to know later. Because during college days, we were taught CATIA, AutoCAD, some a little bit of SOLIDWORKS. But NX was something which was widely used and it was a little different than the softwares that was I was currently familiar with. So that was a new thing to me and even learning a new software, there were some challenges that I, had that I couldn't get through. But there were support engineers who helped me with that and they were quite knowledgeable about the software. So I think uh, that was something that I found interesting as well as the theoretical part of it. It was something which was um, even with, within the theory, it was more practical. It uh, was very easy to understand and they gave a lot of uh, real life uh, examples to make us understand the concepts. So that is something that I found in interesting in Skilllink. During the courses, I was given a lot of projects to work on. So during that, I learned that it had a lot of relevance with what is going on in the industry right now. Uh, like for example, during my interview with Scient, I was asked a lot of questions about GDNT and a lot of um, questions related to software that is NX that they use with them right now. And uh, I was asked like how, what the various GDNT symbols used in the industry are or uh, what kind of projects I had done with NX which was surfacing, mostly surfacing and I had even done some uh, modeling work on compression walls, suction walls and all of, all of those things. I should say that it was quite relevant with what is going on in the industry and it gave me uh, nice exposure to these projects. So I should say Skilllink is pretty good and the projects are very well designed in that sense. They told me how I should be presenting my LinkedIn account to be more relevant to the recruiters so that my profile stands out compared to my competitors and I have to say due to them my LinkedIn profile got a little more engaged with you know a different kind of people related to my domain itself and they taught me how to be more social how to be more forward with uh, reaching out to people they even help with uh, interviews during interviews they held different sessions to you know brush up on all the knowledge that we had included in the course as well as what we had done for the past four years in engineering uh, they helped with brushing up those skills as well as they gave uh, like held mock interviews to practice what questions could be asked during the interview and how we should present ourselves. So I think that helped with you know confi the confidence boost that you need for an interview. That is something I should be thankful because it uh, helped me with you know even organizing myself during interviews or how I, sh how I should be presenting myself in the office and all of those etiquettes. First of all, they should follow everything that is asked of them, that is doing the course diligently. They shouldn't miss out, they should, I should say, they should just continue working hard on the projects, do it well and trust skilling with whatever uh, they have promised because it is something that they go through it that uh, that is why i think all they should focus on is studying and making themselves more familiar with projects software and all of those things i 
I think what I would tell about skill link is even now when some of my colleagues or say uh, my ex classmates they ask me what I have been doing, I have been doing. I say I have been doing various courses on skill link, and they ask how it is. So I'm like, he, they are very good. I have learned a lot of new things with skill link, and I suggest them that they can take up skill link as well. There are a lot of various projects, even for uh, not just mechanical domain related, even with computers. Um, and there is a very good course with uh, electric vehicles. So I was interested in doing that. So I'll most probably look into that and suggest anyone who comes up to me to try and do at least one course because it is worth it. To describe it in one word, it is bright because I know what is relevant to my domain and what I should be doing. Uh, and I think uh, I. Should Think I'm planning to do a little, a few more courses with Skill Link because they are quite interesting. And other than that, I think there is nothing to add. It just I need to work hard with my domain, with my company, and just move forward.